it's Zena, Red Hog Princess, and welcome to the farm. Um, this is my niece's playground behind us, my trailer's over there. I took a video yesterday to see everything, but we'll get to that another day. Um, probably not for a while, I'm gonna put some other stuff with it. But anyway, this is a jujube haul, and um, it's a yay boo kind of day, like yay boo kind of day. Uh, so, I mean, it's a great day. It's beautiful, as you can see. It's very humid, so I'm definitely sweating sitting outside, but it is lovely. Um, but it started out at like 4.30 this morning, or maybe it was a little earlier, but I woke up with a, a tickle on my neck and I pulled a tick off, so that was a rude awakening and I couldn't go back to sleep after that. Uh, yeah, that's the joys of rural life in Virginia, I guess, but um, it happens, no big deal. Um, Okay, but enough about that. It's still a yay boo kind of day with all this haul because the UPS man came, which is yay! And my order arrived, yay! Jujube mail, but here's where we'll get to the rest of it. Um, the first item I got is a recent order. Um, this is the Super Bee in the tea time pattern. I didn't want to get a lot of the bigger bags. I think I mentioned on my haul when I got the Bee Set and the Bee Quick because of the stripe alignment, but the Super B I thought would be one that I could live with. And I, I can, uh, because as you can see, the, the lines don't align where it cuts at the top of the pockets here. So the stripe at the top and then the top part, it's choppy that way, but it's mostly aligned and I, I, I can totally do this. I can, I can live with this. It is such, such a beautiful bag. And I don't normally do whites, but it is stain resistant, completely machine washable. It's Teflon coated. I think I think I can make this work um, because it goes so nicely with all of the navy and the duchess and the indigo. It's going to be great. Um, but yeah, so if you haven't seen this yet, it looks like a, like a canvas woven type thing, but it's actually the normal Jujube slicky fabric, which I think is really cool. Um, but the jujube is a large tote. It's very slouchy, so you know, you can, it doesn't take up a lot of space. So if you're traveling, it's a great extra bag to throw in, sort of like a packable type bag. Um, and it's got two basic candles. It's got three pockets on the front. You have two tall, skinny pockets, one on each side. And then the middle pocket here actually has a zipper. And it's not, it's not all the way down. Hold on, I need two hands to open the zipper kind of tucked away in there. So this pocket, like these two go all the way to the bottom and this middle one only goes about halfway and it is perfect for like phone or keys or something. It only goes about halfway down. But it has a zipper closure on there. So that's kind of cool. And then on the back, there's a big slip pocket and it has a snap in the middle. So you can see big slip right here. And you can also get a good look at that golden interior. I personally think silver with the blue and white would have been better but the gold is such a classy touch on this bag and you can see on the the tag here it's I can't see it very well because it's very bright but I think you can see it on the video there with the, the gold with the white inlay sort of an off-white or cream color with the enamel in there it's very, it's very classy looking and then the zipper is gold as well and it has this upgraded zipper pull with the faux leather pulls and the hinged zipper piece on there. But if you open it up, it has a couple things inside. It's pretty simple, but it does have some organization. Sorry, I'm sweating in my eyeballs. Um, it has a privacy zipper pocket on the back. It has a key, um, I won't say bungee, because it's just a strap. It's not elastic or anything, but it does have a nice clip on the end. And then on the other side, you have two big mesh uh, mesh pockets so it's pretty simple it's not a huge tote like you look at it, you think it's quite big but as you can see it's not super thick it does fit a lot it will allow you to like bulge it out when you fill it so it's great um, they do make uh, I think it was the be moved that is an insert that you can use with these that would give it a little bit more structure and more organization inside of it I do have that but not here with me so you won't get to see that today, but if you look back at my videos, you can find it. Um, so I, I have that. That's a yay! Yay, Super B! Um, the other piece that I ordered with that was a B set in the new Ziggy Warm Sand. 
Um, the boo part is, it arrived today, but it arrived in terracotta. This was a known error, not known in advance, but it's a, it's been a recurring problem. GGB had an issue with the skews or something that a lot of people got the wrong color. I just add me to the list. I got unlucky as well. So I've corresponded with customer service already. We'll see, hopefully we get rapid resolution. But I'm not opening this because this is going back. I did not order and do not want the terracotta. Um, I think this goes really great with the to die for it. It matches those darker hues in there, but I wanted to match the lighter hues. So yeah, so this is a boo for me. Um, I do love the B sets, but call that into the box. I'm not just throwing things on the ground in case you're wondering. Um, the other thing is, if you remember, I ordered right before I left, I had a GGB haul and I had ordered the mini BRB in Honey Dukes and instead I had received the mini BFF in Rose Garden. It was just a, a, a shipping error, not a big deal, but that arrived like June 17th was the message I sent and it's now July 6th and I still haven't gotten even a return thing. So. Yeah, I added that to today's correspondence on the other oopsie. So now I have three open shipping issues in a month. And that's unfortunate because I really love Jujube and I know there's a lot going on in the world. And yeah, but that's just a little frustrating. So hopefully they get it, get it sorted quickly because I'm starting to not want to order. But into the box because that's going back. But on the yay side, I did order their surprise box. And this is my very first time. I mean, I only just discovered UGB in September of last year. So this is the first opportunity I've had. I tend to not like surprise boxes because I have so many bags, it's hard to, uh, you know, guess what they're gonna send. Is it something that I don't already have or whatever? But Lug has kind of spoiled me because theirs have been so unique and, and so forward that it's almost certainly things that I don't have with rare exception. Like I think I one time got an umbrella that I had ordered on the same order with it. Okay, that's not so bad. Um, but anyway, so I kind of got spoiled with the lug boxes and I got this box. And I did order this because everybody raved about it. They were super limited. So I felt there was some sort of exclusivity. So I was on the road and I like stopped and made the order as soon as it went live. And I got really lucky to get one. So I do feel fortunate, yay! Uh, but also boo because it arrived and it's also I already have so uh, yeah you can with their surprise boxes from Jujube you can sometimes get one-of-a-kind items things that were like uh, like a test item that they didn't produce or um, things like that so I was really really hoping to get something unique or different that for sure I didn't have here's what I got I got a sticker yay because I don't have one uh, I don't need one, but yay, I got a sticker. I don't have that. And I got a coin purse. Um, yay, coin purse. Boo, because I don't even know the name of this pattern, but it's not one that I was interested in. Um, blue steel. So I have some blue stuff, blues and blacks, uh, but this is not one that I would have purchased. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not me. It's a, yeah. Maybe I keep it, maybe I give it away, maybe I sell it, I don't know. Um, so neither yay nor boo on that, it's, yeah, whatever. And then I got a Be Cool from Team Toki. I do like the Be Cool, I do like Team Toki, but boo, because I already have this item and I only just recently got it. So I suppose I can choose which one I will keep based on pattern placement uh, but the other one's at home so anyways nothing's gonna happen with it in the meantime but I do like mozzarella yay because mozzarella plays volleyball and that's one of my first favorite sports and pattern placement wise I got super panda on the back playing basketball which is my other favorite sport um, so yay and boo but boo because I already have it but in case you're not familiar with the Be Cool, the Be Cool is an insulated um, bottle bag or just an insulated bag that you can use for whatever. It does have side handles on it, or side loops, I mean. So I actually bought my original first one I bought in a different pattern, but I had bought it to use as like a little crossbody bag, honestly. It has a double zipper and there's the insulation. And it comes with a strap, just a simple seatbelt strap. Uh, obviously it's removable 
But I also have the Tokidoki Team Toki messenger strap that I can use that actually matches the bag and it has just a slip on the front here. So it's pretty simple, but with all the pouches I have, I thought this would make a great little crossbody bag. Um, so, but I don't need two of them, two identical patterns and whatnot. So boo, into the box. Then I gotta be quick, yay, but it's in Tweeting Pretty, uh, boo, because I already have it. I have it already but yay look at the pattern placement on this one I can guarantee my other one is not so perfect I mean I have a pretty bird right smack dab in the middle of it so that is great um, I really do like that pattern placement so I may end up keeping this one and getting rid of the other neither have been used at all um, the surprise box ones weren't wrapped so whatever but but yay! so it's just a be quick inside um, by the way, this is the 15th anniversary, so 2005 to 2020, or 2020. <sighs> Bee! Sweat! Kelly's running around free on the farm. She loves it here. Inside it has GGB stars on a gray, and of course the Be Quick has a zipper pocket. So, into the box. Okay, and the last item that came in the surprise box is a backpack yay because this retails for like a lot of money the whole box costs 110 so value wise i got my money's worth because the items are truly i mean value even if they were on sale 100 dollars plus 10 dollars shipping so 110 dollars for all of this um yeah that's a good value better value if i didn't have everything already but uh, but this item alone 110 dollars is a great deal for it um, so yay for that um, boo because this is the B sporty and um, it, it's not a hard boo it's just you know I'm just sharing my ups and downs of today's thought process it's just not my favorite style I prefer the BRB or the B zealous I do have I think one other sporty for sure one I might have another but I think just one um, it's just I don't know it's it's the flap top bag it does have a zipper closure. Anyways, we'll look at the bag in just a second. Um, but the other thing is, yay, it's Harry Potter. Yay, I do not have this bag, nor do I have a large backpack in this pattern. And I've been thinking about it, but in all the other Harry Potter ones, I have either a Zealous or a BRB. So this is a nice addition, another option, and I am going to Orlando in September. So. I'll add this to the pile of bags for that trip and we will see this again in a, in a month or two um, but let's look at this uh, be sporty I do like the bag it's okay it's just not my favorite so like I said that's a yay and a boo <laughs> a couple of yays and boos but the inside pattern is um, is a nice light color with a bunch of Harry Potter house medallions or whatever you want to call them um, the bag does have a carry handle on top it also has a lot of features on the back. First of all, the backpack straps are removable. So you have the upper loop here and here. You have the bottom loops down here on the side. You also have messenger strap loops, which you can use any of these loops for anything. You know, if you wanna carry this as a messenger bag, it's kind of a north-south bag, but it totally would work for that. You could hang it from your stroller and it's a great access bag for that or or your you know hang it from your wagon or your walker or whatever it doesn't have to be with kids obviously um, the top has a zipper opening and the zipper pulls are round this one has like the hogwarts on it and then on the back this is harry potter and jujube and the lower zipper pull is the sorting hat and the medallion and the sorting hat. So a couple of each kind on there. So you got the snap opening, you have a zipper opening, you have a front pocket. This is your parent pocket or mommy pocket. You have a zipper privacy pocket and then on the front you have two mesh elastic things. But this pocket has quite a little bit of space to it. So you can put a lot of different pouches inside of it. It also has this vertical zipper which you know, I don't tend to prefer these vertical zipper pockets, but I would put my phone in there potentially. The only caveat is these half metal zippers. It's not the super slicky nylon ones, 
but they're not as rough as the Vera ones that I hate. It's in between, but they are pretty smooth, which is a huge bonus, but it is still metal. So if you're putting your phone in, you could scratch up your screen a little bit. It's just something to be aware of, so just be a little bit careful. It's not super scratchy on my hand though, so that's yay. <laughs> Um, anyway, okay, so that's the front pocket. Side pockets are both zippered closures, and I, I like that. Um, you can put a water bottle in here. I think the Chuggies both would fit here, even the all three versions of the Chuggy. I haven't tested it, but I'm quite sure that they will fit just based on the size of it. And you can put other things, like I think my umbrellas will fit in here, so I might use that as well. Um, but again, those zippers, even though they're metallic, they're quite smooth, really nice. And both pockets are, I think they're the same. Let me just double check. Yes, totally the same on both sides. Um, and then, nothing else on the back. Oh, yes, there is. There is a slip pocket on the back. It does run the full length of the bag. It does have crumb pockets on the corner. So if you like spill stuff in there, you can like push it out the corner. But then that means if you throw coins in there, the coins could come out that bottom corner too. So little items, maybe not so great in that back pocket. But it does also have a zipper tech pocket back here. And I totally forgot about that. So it is soft lined as well. And it is, it goes all the way down to about here. So it'll hold a phone of just about any size. It's nice and wide as well. Um, but yeah, so you got that, but this does not have any closure. I think it honestly would be really great to have a magnetic closure, but it will be difficult because that zipper pocket is right in the way of where that magnet would go. Not impossible, but it just would complicate the sewing of it. Just my opinion. Okay, now the main pocket. So you've got your snap closure. It is magnetic, how to check it. It's not super strong magnetic, but it will find its home. So you can kind of see it kind of do that. That's good. And then the top, like I said, has a zipper closure. This bag does come with a changing mat. It is not padded, but there is that. It comes with the backpack straps, which are just seatbelt straps. They're not padded, they're not mesh, they're nothing. It's just a seatbelt strap. You also do get a messenger strap, which is the same, it's a seatbelt, but it does have a padded, no slip grip, pad on there that is removable as well. So you do get all three straps, two backpack and one messenger. You have a privacy pocket. You have a big mesh slip. I don't know how well you can see it in there. And then on the front side, you have two mesh elastic pockets right here. So they're both, they're kind of deep in there. So it's kind of a north south bag, um, but you can get in there. It's light. You can see everything inside. No problem. So that is the B Sporty, the good, the bad, and the Sporty. <laughs> but, yay! All right, so, it's over there. I'm not throwing things on the ground still. <laughs> but, my other order that came um, before all this arrived, and I held on to it to wait for this stuff, so I could do all of the Jujube haul together, even though I still have a couple items pending. Um, but this item is from the sale, recent sale they had, and it was a really good deal. I do love Disney and I do love the Amour de Fleur pattern, which this is. This is the midi backpack. And um, basically when I add these three items, I have almost everything from this pattern release. I don't have the BFF or mini BFF, but I think, I think I have everything else from this. And I did not set out to do that. I, I wasn't looking for that. Um, this came out right after I discovered Jujube. And one of my viewers, I've forgotten who now, sorry, I have it written down, but they had suggested, I uh, check it out, that they were releasing their very first Disney collaboration, which this is. And I'm super happy with it. It's right up my alley. I just love it. It's black background with bright, colorful florals and Mickey's and Minnie's hidden in it. So I just, I, it's perfect for me. Um, so if you haven't seen this pattern, you can see it up a little bit closer. Um, you've got the silhouettes of Minnie and Mickey in the teal color and the rest is these beautiful flowers patterns. The zipper pulls, are, there's a couple different ones. There's this one that's the Mickey head with the florals, which is great. And then, let's see, the top zipper pulls on this one you can see. I'm going to try and align them for you to see better. 
We got a Minnie and a Mickey, and they are super cute. But a couple things about them. First of all, they face each other. And this is one of those patterns I really love that has, ah, this table is hot, hot rock. Um, it has little secret things. So if you look at their hands, when you look at their hands together, I'll put that back up in a sec, but together their hands make a little heart, you know, like people make hand hearts. So I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see that. Let me try to align it, but you might be able to, I can get the glare off. I don't know if you can see that, but their little hands, make a heart each of them makes one half of it so they come together and make a heart super cute um, this pattern does have a hidden mickey with the green floral elements with those um like the leafy part this particular piece does not have the hidden mickey on it i think it has the bottom of the head but you can't tell um, it has elastic pockets on the side it has top carry handle and the back straps are just nylon um, seat belt straps it does have a double zipper entry on the top it comes with a changing pad so it's a midi plus uh, not a pad it's a mat uh, you have privacy pocket big slip two small slips and then just big space and the, you can see the mickey head floral inside okay let's see on the changing pad if we got the mickey that i'm talking about Yes, actually a couple of them. So the hidden Mickey, and it's on here twice, it is a geometric pattern. So if you haven't seen this, it's one of those super secret, secret, not secret, but here's the big circle in the green, can you see that? And then you have one ear here and another ear here that's just a little bit cut off. But so you have a Mickey head hidden right within the pattern. And once you see it, you can't not see it. And there's um, another repeat of that down here. You see the big circle, and then you have one ear and another ear. So you have the, the hidden Mickey head in the pattern. So that's cool. So if I was making a smaller piece, a custom piece out of this, I'd probably try to try to include that. This is me. Because I like secret stuff like that. Fun things that you look at it, you see something different every time kind of a thing. Okay. The next item I got is a messenger strap for this. This is one of the ones that you can buy separately. I generally don't buy them separately. I, I, I wanted this one for a couple reasons, mainly because this strap goes with multiple pieces. I could use it with my Zealous backpack. I can use it with my, oh, this midi doesn't have the straps, but the newer versions of the midis do but I can use it with my Super B. And I also got a Mini B, or I'm sorry, a Mini B. Super B, Mini B. No, this is not a Mini B. This is a B light. It's a tote, a smaller tote. Um, although, now that I said that mistakenly coming out of my mouth, Super B and Mini B would make sense for the tote's names instead of the Mini B banana backpack, but that's just me. Uh, that's commonsensical approach to naming convention, but. All right, well, we'll talk about this bag in just a moment, but this, strap can also be used with this bag you see it has these loops here it doesn't have the metallic piece to connect to but this strap can go right through the loop or i can add loops that i already have and then hook the strap to the loop which is probably what i would do but so i got that to go with that and this again is the b light not to be confused with the mini b but it is a tote and the straps are a little bit shorter, but plenty big enough to use. Um, it's big enough to use as a purse and small enough to use as a purse, I think. There is another insert, the B moved for the Super Bs and the B switched for the B lights. I do have both. I think I brought the, the B switched, but it's buried in the Orlando bags. So we may see that or we may not on this trip, but it won't be today. If I forgot it, you won't see it until I get back home. But, but this bag has two pockets on the front. So one and two, just like the Super B, it's the full length all the way down. And this one does not have a back pocket on it. But inside it has a zipper top closure and it has one privacy pocket on the back there just with a zipper. It's not a huge tote, like I said, it's big enough, but small enough. So just like the Super B proportionally, it's not very thick, 
but they're both quite slouchy so they can stretch out a little bit there's something in my pocket oh in my pocket <laughs> there is something in my pocket is another changing mat because all of the Disney ones are plus versions I forgot about that so I have a bunch of extra mats now which I could use I have a whole set of table settings for Disney or you know these will be great for shoot right now would be great so I don't burn my arms on this table um, this one it does have the Mickey head once but it's cut off but you can still see it where to it go it's over here so you have a big you got the big circle here and then there's one ear and the other ear is cut off anyways yeah okay so we got that changing mat was in the zipper pocket not anymore but it does have a zipper across the top and this zipper is the mickey head shaped zipper since it's a single zipper i think the only time they put the minis and mickeys was when they had the double zippers but that concludes this haul and all the yays and boos wear within i hope you're having a great day kelly is right in front of me come here baby come and say hi Come on, come here. Oh, now you go under the table. You want up? Come on. Hi, baby. Yeah, she loves it here. All right, have a great day. See you again soon. Yay!